welcome to all of you to another episode of the movie review series by Radio Club DIICT. It is the month of June and we are celebrating the Pride month. On account of this and in collaboration with Film Club DIICT, we have decided to review Love Simon. Love Simon is a light-hearted, engaging and extremely well-written story of a high school boy. The film is based on the book Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albert Ali. Our protagonist, Simon, has a perfectly happy life. He lives in a nice house, he has supportive parents, he has a loving sister, and he has great friends. But he has one secret. Simon is a closeted gay man and he's concerned that if he comes out, his life will never be the same. So. He is not ready to disclose this to the world, but he develops an online relationship with someone from his school called Blue. And the movie is then focused on how he handles this relationship, his friendships and coming out to the world. The best way to describe this movie is, it's a gay John Hughes movie that you never knew you needed. So if you're a fan of movies like Pretty in Pink and Sixteen Candles, then this film is perfect for you. In Hollywood, gay films like these generally have a stereotypical story. They have sad endings where the main character probably dies. And coming out is often a traumatic experience due to parental and societal rage. These stories are important too, but there is a lack of gay films that people can enjoy. This, this is where Love, Simon shines. It is so nice to finally watch a mainstream gay teen film that is fun and refreshing. It has a story that pretty much everyone can relate to. It also makes the gay community look normal. This, this is what the LGBTQ community wants, to be normalized. And it's a first major studio film about a gay kid coming out. So this film, it's a huge step forward for the representation of the LGBTQ community. The director, Greg Bellanti, having produced Dawson's Creek and Riverdale, is well versed with the teen world. He understands this genre so well. He uses this familiar teenage romance genre to tell us a beautiful LGBTQ story. The screenwriters have done a tremendous job. The scenes in the film are not overly dramatic, unlike in many teen films. Instead, there are many thoughtful and realistic conversations in the film. The dialogue does not feel forced. It was engaging, witty and very relatable. The film is filled with humour. It comes from the characters, dialogues and situations. At the same time, the emotional depth of the film is not sacrificed for humour. The two go hand in hand. The characters are extremely well written. Every character has something about them that you will understand and appreciate. The performances in the film are an absolute delight to watch. Nick Robinson, who plays Simon, is charming and painfully real. But his performance is not over the top, in the sense that it makes you feel like he's begging for sympathy. The actors, who play Simon's friends, antagonists and love interest, all give amazing performances. Jennifer Garner and George Dumel who play Simon's supportive and caring parents are brilliant as well. Ghana especially gives a great performance in one of the movie's most thoughtful and pivotal scenes. Tony Hale, who plays the vice principal, is hilarious and has some steam sealing moments. The editing of the movie is on point. The movie also has cool colourful visuals and the film has a pretty good soundtrack as well. So, all things considered, Love, Simon is an extremely charming, emotionally resonant and genuinely funny film that everyone should watch. That brings us to the end of our show. Thank you so much for tuning in. However, before you go, don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Instagram and Spotify. I hope you all have a great day ahead. This is Aji Aditi signing off. Do keep listening to Radio DIICT. Music that keeps you alive.